There is a new feature in Photoshop Elements 12 if you are under the Expert Edit mode. Here you can find a feature under the Enhance menu. The first one is called Auto Smart Tone. So when you select this one, it will automatically apply a correction to the image in a new dialog box, plus it will give you this interesting joystick with which you can change again the tonal values of the image and in the corners on the each of the corners you can see what will be the end result if you drag this joystick all the way to those corners so just to understand how it works let me show you while I'm dragging this around I can see the changes being applied to the image now let's understand what happens here really if I put it back in the middle, that's the automatic adjustment that has been applied to the image. If I move the joystick to the top right, then it will make it brighter. If I move it to the bottom right, it's even more bright. If I move it to the top left, it's getting darker. And if I move it to the bottom left, then it's even darker. So what happens really is that if I move it to the bottom right, it will add brightness both to the highlights and the shadows in the image. If I move it to the top right, it seems like that it adds brightness to the shadows but tries to keep the highlights the same as they were. And then if I move it to the top left, then it darkens the highlights and keeps the, the shadows uh, the same as they were. And then if I move it to the bottom, then it will darken both the shadows and the highlights. Or at least that's roughly how we can summarize the way these four corners work. But as I said, if you keep it in the middle, that's already an adjustment. And you can really fine tune in this grid and uh, that what is the best um, correction for your photograph. And I think in this case, it's something like this will be perfect. So let's just click on OK. And then we can see uh, our final result here. So once again, remember this option is only available in the expert mode. And under the enhance menu, you can find the option auto smart tone. We have another cool new feature in the expert mode for the straighten tool. So let me just select the straighten tool. You can always press P for the keyboard shortcut. And then the new option you will find in the tool options and it's called auto fill edges. So it says already that uh, it will fill the edges automatically after straightening the image. So let's see how that works. First of all, we have to straighten the image. So I am going to click and drag over here, which I think should be the horizon of the image. It turns the image around and then it fills the edges in automatically. And it did a really good job, I have to admit. It copied this boat here uh, to the bottom left, which might not be the best uh, because it's quite obvious that it's been repeated. But apart from that, the sky looks great. Uh, the sides of the image look great. This corner looks quite good as well. So I might only want to get rid of this boat here. And I can do that very easily with the clone stamp tool. I just selected the clone stamp tool. Let me just make the size a bit bigger. And I'm going to alt click on the image on the water and then just draw over this boat to get rid of it quickly and easily something like that so now if you have a look at the image that looks already much better so we got rid of the rotation and we, we uh, straightened the whole photo and using the auto fill edges we could quickly fill in those edges so instead of cropping the image we actually extended the edges and by the way, this feature is based on a technology called Content Aware Fill, which was introduced in a previous version of Photoshop. So this is a great example of Photoshop Elements is using very advanced technology borrowed from the leading image editing application. But still, it makes it so much easier to work with images because we have a much more user friendly interface. great news for anyone who owns pads because now in the new version of Photoshop Elements we have a new feature for the red eye removal tool so let me just show you the feature first of all it's called 
pet eye. And I wouldn't call it pet eye removal because that sounds a little bit uh, scary. It's better to just call it the red eye removal tool with a fixed pet eye option. So if we have that option turned on, then we can get rid of these unwanted um, changed colors on the pads. If we have a flash on the camera and we uh, took the photograph straight on and the flash reflected back from the eyes of the pad. So once it's set up, we can uh, either zoom closer a little bit just to make it easier to edit the image. And then we can just simply click on the eye and it replaces it quite well. So let me just click on this one as well here. And in some cases, you can see that the two eyes looks a little bit different. So in these cases, you either go back and maybe instead of just clicking, you draw over the eye. And in some cases that doesn't help. Now it worked and it made it quite similar, but the dog looks a little bit cross-eyed. So I can always try it again. And now it looks actually quite good. So you might need to do a couple of tries before it works properly, but I think that looks quite well now. So we can always have a bigger um, overview of this. If I hide the tool options, I press Command or Control Zero. And then I can also use the Crop Tool. So let me just select the Crop Tool is here at the bottom and I'm just going to uh, get rid of again the tool options just crop the image and get rid of those edges we don't need those except I maybe crop it even more a bit here at the bottom yeah something like that and the image already looks so much better than originally so remember the pet eye option for the red eye removal tool Another great new feature in Photoshop Elements 12 under the Expert Edit mode is the Content Aware Move tool. Again, this is something that uh, we have also in Photoshop and uh, Photoshop Elements inherited this technology uh, from its big brother. So let's see how it works. Once we select it, we can choose uh, quite a lot of options here. First of all, we can decide what mode we want to use, move the selection to another area of the photo or extend. That means stretch your selection across your photo. Now most of the times you will probably need to use the move option and uh, you can always change the healing as well on this scale. But let me just hide the tool options and see what can we improve on this image. Well, what I would like to do is to have the family all together and have this person here on the left closer to the group on the right or in the middle. So what I will do is make a selection of this person here on the left. So just a very rough selection like that. And then I click and drag and move over the person much closer to uh, the others in the photo. Let go and then Photoshop Elements will do the magic. It will replace the original part of the image which I selected with something from the image and then just simply move the person to the right. So let's just see before and after. Before and after. I think that's a really cool feature and of course this is something you can also do in Photoshop but that's great that now in Photoshop Elements 12 we also have the same feature available.